make this delicious stew rice and beans with me it's so delicious and i hope you like it hello lovelies let's get started for my proteins i will be using cow tongue and roundabouts i'm going to clean the cow tongue by adding hot water and allow it to sit for two to three minutes I'm going to run cold water on it so that I will be able to clean it without burning my hand. You guys, cleaning cow tongue can be difficult, I know, but trust me, it's worth it at the end. Again, your choice of protein determines how tasty your food will be. The combinations of cow tongue and roundabout, we call it afuano, it's a great combo you must try. Even though the half one I bought was so tiny, but still, it does the job. Very delicious. Once that is done, I will grate some garlic, ginger and onions. I'm going to transfer the proteins in a pot, add the onions, ginger and garlic as well as my preferred spices, curry powder, thyme, seasoning cubes, bay leaves and salt to taste. Please go for your preferred spices. I'm going to mix very well to combine, cover and allow it to cook. Meanwhile, I will blend my tomatoes and peppers, transfer in a pot and allow it to cook down to reduce the moisture. At this time, I check on the proteins and remove the fish. I'm going to add water and allow the other proteins to cook nicely. For the fish, I'm going to transfer in my air fryer and allow it to do the job. You can also fry if you prefer. Once the proteins are well cooked, I'm going to transfer in a bowl and it's time to make a stew. I will add vegetable oil in a pot and allow it to heat up. Next, I will add my chopped onions and fresh curry leaves. Allow it to fry until translucent. You guys, by now you must have known the love I have for curry leaves. I make use of it in almost everything I'm cooking, except soups. Next, I will add my tomato paste, mix very well to combine and allow it to fry until the sour taste is no more. Once that is done, I will add my cooked tomatoes, add seasoning cubes and paprika powder. You can also add any spices you want to add at this point. I don't like too much spices, I stick with the basic ingredients. So do what is best for you. Meanwhile, I will parboil my rice. In a boiling water, I will add my washed rice, allow it to come to a rolling boil. After that, I will sieve it, wash it again, add enough water to cover, add salt to taste. Skip salt if you don't like salt in your white rice, cover and allow it to cook until soft. At this time, I check on the stew and the tomatoes has fried really well. I'm going to add the proteins as well as the stock. Add more water if you like your stew light. Test for salt, cover and allow it to cook on a medium to low heat. I will go ahead and warm my beans. I brought it out from my freezer. I'm going to add chopped onions and salt. Add little water, cover and allow it to cook on a medium heat. At this time, I check on the stew. As you can see, oil has floated on top. That means it's ready. I'm going to turn off the heat and check on the rice. And it's ready. The beans is ready as well. Look at that stew. It's popping. The rice is fluffy and the beans is beansing. <laughs> Save and enjoy. I hope you give it a try. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one.